Since I mentioned them, I've, and I've not that I recall ever done a video showing them, I thought I'd do a quick demo of the Kerry Parks Parks Every Whistle. Uh, this is a, an old one uh, in the material that he, he used to use. I don't have any in his current material. Um, so it's one of the the set that comes with sets with three bodies in D, E flat, and C. So they're interchangeable uh, with the same head, which works very, very well. The C in particular is very nice, but I'm going to stick with the, the basic D for now. It also has the, uh, what he calls the tone ring. It's a mute, really, which you, you can take it off altogether, but you can use it to close off part of the window to mute the sound of the whistle. As you mute it down more, it does make it go flat. But then you've got the tuning slide capacity to compensate for that. Although I would think, generally speaking, you're only going to use it for private practice where you've got to not make too much noise. Uh, if you're playing for real, you're not going to be using the mute. Um, so it would, you know, the, the, the fact it affects the tuning wouldn't really matter. Uh, I'll just show you what you get out of it. So if, if I play it fully open first, Now I'll play it about half closed. And as closed as it can go and still work, which is down to a splinter almost. That's a little bit too closed actually, a little bit less. So there you are. That was I just. So fully open. So same breath pressure, but you could hear it going quieter and flatter as you close the tone ring over. Anyway, so that's how that works. I think these are really great whistles. Um, you can put quite a bit of air through them, which, which as a flute player, I like to do. I don't like what I call strangled whistles that you can't put any air through. I, I push quite a bit of air through. And as a result, I need the tuning slide because, of course, when you push more air through, your pitch rises and uh, uh, you go sharper. So you need tuning slide capacity and for the scale to still be good when you've pulled it out a, a fair bit. Uh, it's one reason why I don't get on with the Kalanis. They make an absolutely lovely sound. And if you play them with constant minimal air they're really beautiful and they're fine for recording your studio use or whatever but I find if, if you play them in a session and you want to start pushing them their scale just goes wildly out. although you can tune them their scale goes wildly out of tune the intonation's horrible at least the early one that I've got that's true uh, I don't know how much they've changed the design since I bought that several years ago but as I say I find it unusable in sessions it's really nice to play privately uh, but back to the parks uh, that's what it, you know, sort of how it works, what it sounds like. I'm not going to bother changing the bodies to show, but the C body is really nice in particular. So I'll play a tune on it. Well, for a tune, I thought since I've seen a mention of it today, and it, it's a tune I usually play on flute, not on whistle, um, but I thought I'd have a go at uh, Lady Aunt Montgomery, uh, real. It, Normally, it, it, it's a tune that the A music, it goes off the bottom of the range of the whistle. It goes down to a, an A if you're playing it on fiddle or banjo or box or whatever. Um, so you've got to do a little bit of octave folding with it on, a, on a, a whistle or a flute.
I thought I'd stick the A music up the octave the last time just to show it's still quite sweet even up to the the top D.